Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are here on Assetto Corsa looking at the GTI drift car. You guys know about this car. I started building it for USDA. Well today it's been tuned slightly different. It's down to 500 horsepower. It's on only 62 degrees of steering lock, some different tires, and it is more tuned for hot pit which is a street series. So we're going to be taking this for a rip on C. Chiretto's new track. Definitely have not had a chance to get on this track. It's been out for a little bit of time. So we're going to be taking a look at today. One of you guys in the comments did say, hey, you should try out his track. So we're going to do that today. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. If you guys are new to the channel, I'd appreciate if you tap that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you coming back for another episode. So without further ado, let's get to it. So another thing that we are doing is we are on 1080 now rotation instead of 900. So we're getting ourselves activated into the 1080 world instead of 900 degrees. So full 1080 degrees worth of rotation. So definitely a little bit different, but not super crazy doing that video with all different drift angles. A lot of people say 1080 is GOAT or 1000 is GOAT. So that's where we are right now. So we're going to hop onto this track. So we're going to be kicking this thing in third. So like I said, this car is now about 500 horsepower on street tires for the Hot Pit Series. Check here. And it is only 62 degrees worth of steering lock, unlike my ESDA car, which is about 71 degrees of steering lock, because 72 is what ESDA maxes you out at. Hot Pit is 62, so it's about 61... 0.5 ish and it does feel very good this car on the new power and everything is feel quite nice this track is really slow definitely would like to get some tandems on this track for sure maybe i can work some out and hop on with c and on them and see if we can throw down some uh throw down some nice tandems oh that was a very different turn. I thought I was going to be going a little bit shorter. So overall, pretty fun track, pretty flowy track. That's a huge aggressive break in there. Going to pop ourselves out in third person. The GTI throwing so much smoke. And right there is right where I hit that 1080. Ooh. So one thing I need to figure out, I think it's the suspension of the car. Once I hit full lock with this wise fat front, it kind of locks into place. I kind of have to pull it out. But that's just a kind of a wise fat feel. So it's definitely something I have to get used to with this car compared to my other cars. Ooh. But this is still a lot of fun right now. And this track is pretty, pretty flowy. Now I know there's a skid pad section across the way which we're also going to go hit up. This is a pretty dope track to get with the get with your friends and drift, so I think this will lead us maybe to a skip pad. For his first track, definitely a uh, very solid track for his first track, if I do say so myself. Pop that in the third. Yeah, right there is that little pullout with the wise fab. Maybe something I need to adjust in the car. So, going to 1080, I'm not feeling that crazy amount of difference. I do feel a bit of a difference. There is more real rotation, but I did increase my force feedback value to 80 instead of 70 to get a little more feel and also to get the wheel to rotate a little bit faster. So, we do have. A little bit faster rotation. Taking all the cones out. I can see a little bit of see-through in my model that I'm going to have to fix. I can see my suspension. I shouldn't be able to see that. 
I definitely need to add a couple uh, things to the model so that we're not going through the car. So we're going to go see if we can drive this track backwards. We may take a look at this in a replay camera in a box cam because I don't believe this track does have replay cameras set up yet. So GTI gets in a little bit over, a little over potatoes. Thinking I had a little more angle lock. Like I said, this is 10 degrees less than what my ECA car is, so it's definitely a little bit different. It takes a little bit of uh, re acclimating your body and your sight position when you're in first person, your sight position of how far the car is actually angled up to know when you've uh, kind of hit that point of no return. So overall, definitely a very fun track. So let's take a look at the box cam and see if we can't see some, uh, some of the lines from that first section. So we're gonna watch this in box cam when the pits apparently the TI has had some lights. She didn't even know we're there, so we're gonna have to go through the lighting data and make some changes and stuff like that. GTI definitely very solid car right now and having a lot of fun with this car. Got the Falcons on the corner on this one compared to my ESDA, which has got Nittos on the corners. But these are a lot less grippy of a retire compared to my ESDA car. So first impressions of his track, it's super flowy and actually really fun track and I do enjoy the flow of it. So like I said, I'm definitely gonna see if maybe I can hook up with him at, or some of the other guys and get some tandems on this track because uh, it's it could be a very fun flowy track. Now, I'm still trying to figure out my smoke settings uh, for being on 177. I'm still trying to get them adjusted and fine tuned how I like them. Um, definitely something different. So if you guys have some smoke settings and stuff, you're on 177, for the new smoke. Let me know what your settings are, maybe down in the comments or shoot me a message in Discord or on Instagram because I'd be very curious what smoke settings you're running because I would like to get a little bit a little bit better smoke. Um, I like the smoke I had on when I was on 1.5 or 175, but need to be on 177 for a lot of the new stuff. So we are on 177 now. The GTI gets down though. Super fun track, super fun car. You know, street style car, it was definitely the right car to bring to this track. A little bit of a dirty e-brake grab there. So if you guys keep wanting to see more of this style video, let me know down in the comment section down below. If you're, like I said, if you're still here and you're new to the channel and you guys like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. I would appreciate all the support and do appreciate all the support from all my returning subscribers. Thank you for coming back for another video. If you guys want to see other tracks driven, let me know down below as well. That was almost an over rotation bit. So I'm going to leave you guys with a little more of the GTI ripping here on c track. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching Omnivore Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.